Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pravin Kumar Bamsi. Today we'll see one of the SQL real-time SQL that is password expiry. Okay, if you see this image, you'll get idea. Okay. So the, we, I am having one table, having employee ID and password expiration date. Okay, see, it's having seven record and expiration. Okay, so you need to write such query such a way that I want to display the output and see. Okay, see, I want to get output like this. Okay, see, employee ID with the password which, which is going within 30 days, within 60 days, and within 90 days one more time so we need to write a query such a way that okay so 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 that what i want to get the output exact as is okay so i want to list list i want to get list of employees whose password is going to expire within 30 days within 60 days this year and within 90 days okay so we need to write this query again okay? so if you want to solve this requirement you should have a better understanding the following concept okay what are the concepts so c test date difference function current date to cap case set operators and column alias so, okay see it as for table backup purpose date function to get today's date to care conversion function case for condition statement set operators like for result sets okay so column alias okay so let us discuss one of the concepts like c test c is nothing but create t is nothing but table table name a is nothing but as select star from four table okay so from that old table we want to create a backup table employee test is a backup table so this is C test, create table, table name as select star from whole table. Okay. In a similar fashion, go for column. It's a simple column heading. Okay, if you want to give proper name or temporary name, okay. A meaningful name, if you want to give any column, we can able to get yes. Okay. I want to give one proper name like this. We can have this is column alias. This one will be regularly used in real time process. Okay. So union all union all is one of the set operators. Okay, so what is so select Pravin from real? What will get? We get Pravin. In a similar fashion, Kumar. Okay, so I want to club separate, separate, this is separate data set and this is separate data set. I want to club into a single data. We'll go for setup that is union or okay. So Praveen, separate Kumar, but using union, we can able to club into a single result set. Okay, got a pointer. Now will this now we'll see this one in practical. Okay, remember when you're getting any task, now try to cooperate, try to create one table, insert some data, then we're able to do the things. Okay. So without without putting efforts, we can't able to learn anything. Okay. So let us create thing and can able discuss. Okay, now we'll see this one practically. Okay, now what happened? First, understand how to get today's date. Okay, how to get today's date to go for current date. Okay, so from DL table. Okay, so see, we can able get today's date. Okay, so today's date is what 2023 Okay, so I want to convert into so like August month. So then we should go for convert that is two underscore care function. Okay, so current date. Okay, so I want to display like date, month, and year. Okay, this is the format so that I can ever so this is what okay. This is August 1st, 2023. Okay, this heading is not good. Okay, then we can put some name. This is nothing but it's a column alias. Okay, how to get to the state current date and the two care function and column alias. Okay, like three concepts has been covered. Okay. Now see this data. We want to populate the same data. Okay, see, I want to get 30th August, 31st August. So like this, we can apply. Okay, how to get this data? We can go. So that we can prepare, okay, remember prepare data as is, then we can able to go. Okay, so what happened? First go, select, so select one employee ID. Employee is the column alliance, okay, then current date. Current date. Plus 30, okay, so 30 from real table, okay, so. So what happened? 31st. Okay, what they want? Okay, they want 30th August. Okay, so we can able to go for 30th August in sense, like you can go for 29th August. Okay. So same data, 29th August. Okay, so 30th August. Okay. So 29th in a similar fashion. Okay, what do they want? They want same heading, okay, password expiry date. Okay. Okay, so password expiry date. Okay, so see. 2023, 8 30. Okay, so 8 30. 30th August. Okay, similar fashion. Copy the same thing. Try to put second employee ID. Okay, this data like one or two minutes it will take. Okay, so 30th. So 30th August. Okay, 30th August, 31st August, September. Okay, so like this. First, so 29 30 31st, okay, 60. 
So then what I want again is a September. So it will take one or two minutes to prepare data. Same thing again. Okay? So if you prepare data, it's a simple and easy to get. Okay? So 59, next one is 78. 78. Okay. Under 90. Okay, so see this thing, same output. Okay, so go to point. So up to 30. Okay, now what happened? Okay, now see this is this is one result set and this is other result set. How can you club two results set? We should go for what? We should go for set that is union order. Okay, so see. We can able to club two results in the single result. Probably the same thing. Put here, okay. So same thing. Okay. Now see, we are getting like this. Okay. Now what happened? Okay. I want to create a backup table. How can I create a backup table? You go for C task answer. Okay. So create. Create table, suppose like tested at something, okay, anything, okay. Tested data as, okay, this is a table I'm creating, okay, you see. Tested table has been created, okay, go back here. Now see this data, so go, okay. Select style from tested data. See what happened, getting the data as is, okay. So, but we don't know what exactly we can able to convert, okay, see, we can able to convert, okay, employee ID. Yep. Okay, so password. Okay, so I want to display like this. Okay, how can we should go for two care function? Two underscore care bracket open bracket close. So DD MON by 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 so that we can able to understand. Okay, see, this is 30th August. Okay, so we can put from proper name. Okay, so for see heading is not we should go for column malias. Okay, so see the same thing. Employee 30th August 31st. So same data, okay, 30 October, same data we're getting. Now what we want to okay, get see, same first step is that I, I'm creating table and insert some data. Next step is that what, okay, we want to find the differences, okay. So 30 days difference, okay, 60 days difference, uh, like this, you can have How to get simply, you can go for what, we can go for, like what, first we should find the difference. How can you find simply, we should go for password expiry date. Minus current date because the sir current date get you to rest to see what happened. So see first second okay, so this employee the first second. So what happened? Okay, we need to give one proper so, so we put all the two okay. So I'll drop this table one more time. So third record. Fourth record, fifth record, sixth record, seventh. Okay, so table created. Okay, now what happened? Now see this thing. What happened? Okay, what we are trying to find? Okay, we are trying to find the difference. Okay, see. So 29, 30, 31, 60, 15, select. Okay, now what is the requirement? Okay, so you see, first two are within within 30. We need to get one one. Okay, so these are in within 60 days. 31 to 60 days. Okay. So 61 to 90 days, okay, so we want to see how to get these things, okay, see what happened, we are getting, so dates we are getting. Now, how to do the conditions, conditions can be done by using what, by using case statement. Yes, one more time, so if you want to do any conditions, you go for case statement. Our, our requirements that what, okay, these two should be there in first result, you see, it will be there in 30, okay. Again, this series should be there in what, this three should be there in second, second, okay. Again, this second two will be there in last result, okay, how can you do by using, so remember, if anything, if in database something, I want to do some conditions, you go for either case or decode. Conditional statements, either case or decode function. Okay. So go back here. Now what happened? We can able to go for case statement. Okay. So case, when, now what happened? We need to find, okay, difference something. Okay, so when, when what, okay, so see, take the same thing. I'll put up the case. current date. Now what happened? Okay, now we'll get the difference. So see the same thing. Now what happened? Okay, now difference should be there. If it is, so what do you want? If it is less than 30, okay, see? If it is less than, okay, less than 30, we should put 1, 1, okay. So if it is less than, so bracket open, less than or equals to 30, then 
one. Okay, so yeah, if you see this thing, we can never get some minus. I'm putting some name, okay, so simply. So we should give one proper name. They want what? 30 days expiry, okay. So 30 days expiry, okay, expiry. Okay, so put double quotes. This is column alias. So see what they want one, okay. But if see, we, whenever now we need put what, okay, we are handling only what, we are handling for 60 days. So we should put else, else zero, okay, else zero, okay, so. So this is so we are getting like first condition is set okay so so below 30 we want put as one okay so take the same thing next one is that what okay from 31 to 60 same condition copy the same thing okay put comma now what you want okay so you want what so 31 to 60 how to get 31 to we should go for range of values go for what between cons okay so between 31 and 60 then one okay so it will be 60 days expire okay, 60 days okay. 60 days expired. Okay. So 60 days expired. Okay. So see 60 days. Now again, what we need to get 90 days expired. Okay. Copy the same thing. Put comma. Next one, what okay, should be 61 to 90 days. 90 days. Okay. Then it's a 90 days expired. Okay. So, and this expired. Okay. Got the pointer. The same thing. Okay. So, see? so they want to get within 30 days. Okay. So our logic is correct. Okay. So, see? so below 31 to 60. So this is not. Okay. So one more time, if you're not able to understand, first what you have done, okay, first you should understand current date, it will go two days here, okay. How to get in this format, we can able to get like this format, like you want to display, okay. In a similar fashion, what we need to create table. So by using seat as concept, and by using union all, we are trying to create one table. So take the same thing. So select star from table, okay, what happened will give all the records. Now what happened, we should, okay, if it is not good looking, then what happened, we are converting to so one like okay by using two care function we can able to say like okay so two care password expiry date okay so go back here okay dd camboy by the way okay so same thing okay so, so now we're getting okay we should put some date okay so, so this is nothing but say column address, okay. so so far good okay now what happened so this is fine now what we want, we want to find the difference. First, they want working here, they want to get number of, okay, before doing, you know, first we should find differences. How to find the differences, we should go for. So this is the way, okay, current date we can able get, okay. So, now what happened, okay, we need to the conditions, okay, so within 30 days, we want to put, okay, so one, within 60 days, we want to put, okay, see what happened within 30 days, we want to display, within, so we should go for simply what, we should go for case statement, okay, so case, when, then, okay, so what happened, okay, when this is, less than or equals to 30, then, okay, so see this thing, like this way you can able to okay. That it is expired, now in similar fashion, we want to get, okay, so same thing, so copy the same thing, so if understand all it's a simple okay so what happened between See, like this way, you can okay. So, if you case statement, okay, if you know the case statement, see conditions, okay. So, based on less than 30, we should put one. So, like 31 and 60, we should put like this, okay. 61 and 90, we should put, okay. So, see this thing, okay. So, logic, okay. So, understand the same thing, like, okay. So, see, see, okay. first understand the concept. If you understand the concept, it will be simple and easy to get things clearly, okay. So, this is clear. So, first understand two care function, current date, okay. Some, some SQL will have like SC state, like this will be okay. So, like this, you can able to get. Condition statement case.
గడుపు అంటే ఓకే ఇఫ్ లైక్ ద కంటెంట్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ అండ్ షేర్ ద ఛానల్ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఫర్ వాచింగ్